the Kansas-Nebraska Act nullified the Missouri Compromise, which said that states north of the Missouri line are now slave states, and states north of the line are free. However, the act now states that states decide on popular sovereignty, which means that the majority majority of the people in the state want to be free, then they are free, and vice versa. Some of the important people involved were John Brown, William Quantrill, and others. John Brown was an American abolitionist who believed in and advocated armed insurrection in the only in, as the only way to overthrow the institution of slavery in the United States. He first gained attention when he led small groups of volunteers during the Bleeding Kansas Crisis of 1856. William Quantrill led the Lawrence Massacre and was a Confederate guerrilla general. This was the most significant event in Quantrill's guerrilla career and took place on August 21st, 1863. Lawrence had been for years as the stronghold of anti-slavery forces in Kansas and as a base of operations for incursions into Missouri by Jayhawkers and pro-Union forces. Naturally, John Brown and William Quantrill fought many times because of William Quantrill because William Quantrill wanted Kansas to be a slave state, but John Brown defended Kansas and wanted Kansas to stay free, and therefore they clashed multiple times. Because of the conflicts between these two and many other people, however, Congress passed the Kansas-Nebraska Act to calm people down and let the people decide in each state whether to be free or slave. The end. by Isaac Bondurant, Olivia, Andrew, and JD.